Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to apply multiple regression on a given data set to predict the value of a dependent variable given the values of a independent variable. This is the solved example number two. Link for other example is given in the description below. In this case, uh, we have been given a data set with uh, one dependent variable and two independent variables. So in this case, uh, the plant dry weight, that is Y is given to us, that is the dependent variable. The independent variables are soil organic matter, that is X1, and the soil nitrogen, that is X2 here. Given this data, we need to obtain the regression equation. Also, we need to predict the plant dry weight given this organic matter is equivalent to 5 and the soil nitrogen is equivalent to 4 here. As said earlier, y is a dependent variable, x1 and x2 are the independent variable in this case. So, with uh, one dependent and two independent variables, the multiple regression equation is given by y is always equivalent to beta 0 plus beta 1 x1 plus beta 2 x2. In this case, y is uh, the dependent variable, x1 and x2 are the independent variable, beta 0, beta 1 and beta 2 are the regression coefficients of multiple regression. Now, uh, what we need to do is we need to calculate the values of beta 0, beta 1 and beta 2 because we know x1 and x2 here. So, to calculate beta 0, beta 1 and beta 2, first we will represent these uh, uh, coefficients in the form of a column matrix and we will say this one as beta here. Now, to calculate uh, these values, uh, we use this equation that is uh, beta is always equivalent to first we will take x transpose and then we will multiply it to x on the top of this we will take the inverse and then the result is multiplied to x transpose and the whole result is multiplied to y here so once you perform all these uh, matrix multiplications you will get beta so once you get the beta you will get uh, the multiple regression equation using this thing you can predict uh, the value of a dependent variable that is y in this case now the question comes in front of us is what is x and what is y here now if you look at this equation carefully on the left hand side we have the variable y that is nothing but the dependent variable so in this case the dependent variable is y which consists of uh, seven rows and single column here that is what i have represented in the form of matrix here so y is equivalent to the dependent variable in this case now if you look at on the right hand side we have uh, three things that is beta 0 plus beta 1 x1 plus beta 2 x2 here. Now, uh, we do not know the value of beta 0, beta 1 and beta 2, but what is known to us is the coefficient of uh, these three variables is known to us. The coefficient of uh, beta 0 is 1, the coefficient of beta 1 is x1, the coefficient of beta 2 is x2 here. So, that is what I have represented in x uh, matrix here. So, x is equal to first column is the coefficient of beta 0. Uh, that is 1 here. So, that is the reason I have written 1 everywhere. The second one is uh, with respect to beta 1. The coefficient of beta 1 is x1 here. So, the values of x1 I have written in the second column in this case. So, uh, with respect to third column, the coefficient of b2 is x2. The values are, I have written in this third column so that we will get the x matrix here. So, we got the matrix x, we got the matrix y. Now, we need to solve this equation. So, to solve this equation, uh, first what we need to do? First, we need to take uh, the x transpose. So, we know x, we will take the x transpose. That is nothing but rows will be converted into column and column will be converted into rows here. So, we have 7 rows here. We will get uh, uh, 7 columns. We have 3 columns. We will get 3 rows in this case. Now, once you get uh, x transpose, what is the next thing we need to do? We need to take x transpose multiplied by x. That is nothing but uh, we need to multiply this x transpose to x. That is nothing but the rows of x transpose are multiplied to the columns of x here. And one more thing you can notice, in this case we have uh, the matrix is 3 by 7 dimension here and this is 7 by 3 dimension. So, the resulting matrix will be 3 by 3 matrix in this case. So, this row will be multiplied to this column to get the first value. So, 1 multiplied by 1 plus 1 multiplied by 1 plus 1 multiplied by 1 and so on you will get 7. So, that is what you can notice here. Similarly, the same row is multiplied to second column to get the second value. If you multiply this 1 to this column, you will get the addition of all these things that is equivalent to 51 here. 
similarly we have to multiply the row to column so that you will get all these nine values that is nothing but what x transpose multiplied by x here now once you get this x transpose multiplied by x what is the next thing we need to do we need to take the inverse of this one you can follow any online tutorial uh, to understand how to calculate inverse of a matrix or uh, you can use uh, the scientific calculator to calculate the inverse of a given matrix in this case so this matrix is known to us what we need to do is we need to take the inverse once you take the inverse the matrix looks something like this so what we have done we have done the calculation till here that is x transpose multiplied by x and we have taken the inverse here what is the next thing we need to do we need to multiply to this one x transpose here so we have already got x transpose multiplied by x its inverse x transpose is available with us we need to multiply this to this one here again uh, this one is uh, 3 by 3 matrix this one is uh, 3 by 7 matrix in this case so this uh, 3 and this 3 will get cancelled you will get 3 by 7 matrix as the resulting uh, matrix here so you can see here this is what x transpose multiplies by x inverse x transpose which is equivalent to this one again this row will be multiplied to this column here to get this uh, first value the same row is multiplied to second column to get this value similarly we have to do the matrix multiplication so that you will get this uh, resulting matrix now we got the value till here what is the last thing we need to do to this resulting matrix we need to multiply y here so this matrix we have calculated in the previous slide y is known to us if you multiply this matrix to y you will get this one that is nothing but what beta here again you can notice the dimension here this is a 3 by 7 and this is 7 by 1 here so this uh, 7 and this 7 will get cancelled you will get 3 rows and 1 column that is what we got in this case again the matrix multiplication is same we need to multiply this row by column you will get this 51.9 second row first column you will get 1.5 and so on so once you uh, perform entire matrix multiplication you are getting the beta matrix that is nothing but beta 0 is equal to 51.9 beta 1 is equal to 1.5 beta 2 is equal to 6.5 in this case now once you get uh, the beta 0 beta 1 and beta 2 we will put these values into regression equation this is the regression equation what we have discussed in the previous slides we know the values of beta 0 beta 1 and beta 2 we will put in this equation the regression equation looks something like this now this is the final regression equation for the given data set what is given in the problem definition is uh, we need to predict the value of a plant dry weight given the soil organic matter of 5 that is nothing but x1 is equal to 5 here and soil nitrogen is equal to 4 that is nothing but x2 is equal to 4 here so what we do here is we will replace x1 by 5 and x2 by 4 the equation will look something like this and once you solve it you will get y is equal to 85.4 here that is nothing but if the soil organic matter is 5 and soil nitrogen is 4 the plant dry weight is equal to 85.4 in this case so this is how we can apply the multiple regression equation on the given data set to get the regression equation as well as we can predict the value of a dependent variable given the independent variables. I hope the concept of multiple regression is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.